A big weekend in the UP tonight as one of the top sled dog races in the Midwest kicks off. Our meteorologist Brittany Merlot is in Marquette, Michigan and reveals the roots of the sport. As winds howl off of Lake Superior, Michigan's Upper Peninsula will be howling back with dog sled teams. Everybody always remembers the story of Togo and, and Balto and everything. The famous Alaskan Serum Run was a sled pulled by dog power through the winter's harshest storm from Anchorage to Nome, saving the town from diphtheria, and that trail still exists today. It's known as the Iditarod. Reversing to our roots, the earliest evidence of man using dogs to pull a sled dates back to Siberia over 6,000 years ago. And even after the airplane was invented, dog teams continued to be widely used for local transportation and day-to-day -day work, especially in native villages. It's a tradition. Um, it's celebrating a tradition of using sled dogs in the UP for all kinds of things. Mail used to be delivered in parts of the UP with dog teams a long time ago. Although traveling by sled dog is no longer a necessity, it has become a hobby and a sport. But for now, history hits hard on the race to the Iditarod, which is just two weeks away. And the UP 200 in Marquette, Michigan is grandfathered in as a qualifier for that race. I was a spectator at the very first one in 1990, and I was enthralled. I thought it was just spectacular. So then I started to volunteer, I got on the board, and then I started running my own dogs. Mushers don't race for fame or money because there's very little of that. There's one thing that it all comes down to, the dogs. In Marquette, Michigan, I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot with photojournalist Matt Coles, NBC 26. Thanks, guys. You can check it out. Just a three-hour drive.